This is a perfect salad to help you to practice your knife skills, such as slicing, julienne cutting, and chopping. You are also going to make a classical French vinaigrette. To make a tomato and vegetable julienne salad, you will need tomatoes, julienne of cucumber, carrot, red and yellow bell peppers, little bit of parsley, green onion, olive oil, vinegar, seasoning with salt and freshly ground peppercorns, and shallot. Make the julienne. I used a slicer machine, a mandolin, in order to cut into thin slices. Cut the cucumber, but do not use the seeds, so you just stop. You, you cut the pulp and you don't use the seeds. There you go. Here there is a, this is a slice where there is no seeds, so we could use it all. Then Julien the carrots. So position your finger as you learn in the vegetable cut course. Fingertips away from the blade. And Julien the bell peppers. So I have removed the pulp of the bell paper to make it very thin, like so. When you are juliening your bell peppers, make sure you put them skin side down in order to slice through the skin. To make a classic vinaigrette, you will need salt, pepper, red wine vinegar, and vegetable oil, usually sunflower, canola oil, peanut oil, extra virgin olive oil, or grapeseed oil. Today we are going to use extra virgin olive oil. The key to make a good vinaigrette is to respect the ratio between the acid, being the vinegar, and the oil. It doesn't matter if you're doing a cup, a liter, a tablespoon, or a teaspoon, it's always one part of acid, three parts of oil. So today, we are going to use one tablespoon of vinegar for three tablespoons of oil. That way, you will always have a well-balanced vinaigrette, very flavorful. So place the seasoning into the bowl, salt and pepper. Add the acid, the vinegar. That way, your salt will be totally dissolved by the acid whisk, then whisk in the olive oil slowly, taste, mm. the vinaigrette has a kick, it's very tasty, perfect. It will be full of flavor to season our vegetables. Wash your tomato before using it, then remove the core. Cut your tomato using a serrated knife. Place the core side facing the blade or facing the knife. Then cut your tomato in very thin slices. Make sure your tomatoes are ripe, but not overripe, not ready for tomato sauce, for instance, like not too soft, because otherwise you will have a hard time cutting them. When your tomatoes are sliced, then plate it. So take the tomato in your hand and place 
the slices on the top of each other by overlapping them. I'm using a large plate. This is a 14 inches plate because I like to have a lot of room to plate. With a paring knife, you may move the slices to position them nicely. Brush the slices with the dressing, making sure to mix the vinegar very well as the vinegar is heavier than the oil. Then add your julienne, add your vegetable julienne into the dressing, toss it in the vinaigrette, making sure to mix all the colors together. Then with your fingers, grab a small handful of julienne salad, place it in the center of the plate and bring it up, you know, just like so, just to get some height. Cut the shallot in half and finely, and slice it finely. Separate the shallot rings and sprinkle over the tomato slices. Then prepare the green onion. So the green onion, I have trimmed both hands and I have washed it fruity. Cut the onion in half where the white and the green start. Place the white and green onion parts side by side and slice. That way you will get both flavors from the white part of the onion and from the green part. Good. Then sprinkle over the tomato slices then chop some parsley. So here I'm using Italian parsley, but you may use regular parsley. If parsley is not available at home, you may use chopped chives, basil, cilantro, any fresh herbs. But please do not use dry parsley or dry herbs. They don't taste that good, especially in a fresh salad and healthy salad like it is today. So add the parsley, clean the plate, very important. This is um, the last finishing touch in plating tomato and julienne salad with a classic vinaigrette. Bon appétit.